Welcome back to day four of the field bag sew along. In our previous video, we cut and marked our fabric so everything should now be ready to sew. If you missed that lesson, you can find it on our YouTube page before this video. In today's lesson, we're not only going to be sewing up our pockets, we'll also be setting our grommets. So get your machine turned on, make sure your iron is hot, and let's get sewing. To assemble our pocket, we're going to start with piece two and piece three. You can set piece two aside for now. We're gonna work with piece three. With the wrong side facing up, we're going to fold this top edge where you have punched your grommet holes along these two notches. So you're folding along the notches and the punched holes will align. Here we are at the ironing board. And we're just gonna press along that folded edge. See, it's nice and flat, and we're gonna head back over to the table. Now with piece two facing right side up, take the piece you just pressed and lay it face down on top of piece two. So here we have piece two, piece three, and you can see here all the holes align. So now we're going to pin the two layers together, starting at one notch on the side. around the top, the other side, and the bottom. Now this area between the two notches, we're not gonna sew here. So either remember that or you can put a pin in horizontally so that way when you get to this point, you'll remember that you're not supposed to sew this shut. We're going to be turning the pocket right side out through that space, so we need to leave it open. Now we're going to head over to our machines. We're gonna sew starting at one side of that open area, one notch. We're gonna sew up, pivot, over, down, around and back up to this other notch. All right, so again, we're gonna start from that notch right here and we have a 3 8 inch seam allowance. So I'm just gonna sew a little bit and then back tack, which is just when you go backwards to reinforce the edge of your stitching. Continue sewing up until you hit 3 eighths of an inch. If you're unsure where this falls, you can stop with your needle down, lift your presser foot, and then rotate to make sure you're the right distance from the edge. We are, so we're gonna keep sewing. corner. Again, we're going to pivot. And you can see my cutting was a little bit off. It's hard to cut on camera sometimes. But that won't affect anything. the lower edge and I overshot it a tiniest bit. So I'm just going to back up one stitch and then we're good. Again, just remember, we're making a bag. This doesn't need to fit you. 
um, when we're done. So if you're a tiny bit off, it's not a big deal. Just sew up to that next notch. And you can see here, this pin reminds us we're not sewing that shut. Back tack, lift your needle and clip your threads. Now that we've sewn around the edges, what we're going to do is clip our corners. And you wanna clip close to the stitching, but not all the way to the stitching. And this just reduces bulk in the corner. Then the opening here, we're gonna turn our bag right side out. And the way that I find is easiest to do this is to put my hand in the hole, go down to this edge. I put my finger right on the corner. I just flip that through. Then I repeat that for the other top edge. Those are through. And we'll do the same thing for the other side. And that way you're just not losing the corners. It can be easy to kind of lose them in there. If you're having difficulty getting the corners to be nice and crisp, you can use a bone folder. Stick that in and you can just work the corner out with that. I would avoid using anything too sharp because that can puncture the fabric and you'll have a hole in your corner. Once you have your pocket turned right side out, we're going to head over to our iron and we're going to press along this edge. You get a nice flat pocket. So here we are at the iron. Again, we're going to press around our pocket. We want to make sure that this seam line is just right at the edge. It's not falling to one side or the other. So what I like to do is I kind of, this is hard to explain. Um, <laughs> I kind of pull the fabric back and then put it back out and just, you can see it's nice and even there. So I give it a little press. A little steam will be your friend here. And then you just kind of work around the pocket doing that little motion. I apologize. It's hard to explain these little strange things you do with your fingers when you're sewing. Hopefully seeing me do them makes them make sense. And again, just work around. Get that nice and flat. right up to the edge. And then along the top, and this is a little thicker because we have the fold and the seam allowance. You guys also won't be working around a tripod, so it'll be a little easier for you. You can see all our holes have lined up nicely. over into the corner. Now here we are back along the edge with the opening. So we're just gonna press right up to the opening. And then the bottom below the opening. Now for the opening, we wanna press that, but we wanna make sure it's nice and even, as even as we can get it. So here it looks pretty straight. Just make sure that it's not like bowing out or something like that. You just want it to be nice and in line with the rest of the 
side of the bag, of the pocket, sorry. Give that a nice press. And now just a note, we're not gonna sew this shut right now. So don't worry that it's open. We'll get to that in a later step. We're now going to stitch along the two short edges and we're going to do that approximately an eighth inch from the edge. And that just anchors these two pockets because these are going to be the openings for your pocket. And we don't want this moving around. So we're just going to stitch to secure the two layers together. Now I've switched to my edge stitch foot and I have my needle all the way to the left. So that's five positions over on my machine, but it'll differ depending on your machine. You can use an edge stitching foot if you like. You can see it has this guide, which the fabric will butt up against, and that will ensure that you're stitching an even distance from this edge. If you don't have an edge stitch foot, you can easily use any foot that you feel comfortable using. So I am just gonna back tack a tiny bit there, just to keep this line of stitching secure. Then we're gonna do the same along the other edge of the bag. can see our edge is stitched. Now if you're setting grommets there are a few other things you might want. I like to set my grommets on top of an old cutting board rather than my table. Even though the flat base of the setter will be on the table I just don't want to mess up my nice work table. You'll also need the post for the setter, the grommets of course, and a hammer. Okay, so to set our grommets, I have this little front-on camera for you. Um, it's easiest to see when the grommet's in a stack. So, here we go. So we're gonna start with the setting tool base. So the base of the tool that you received, this is the base, this is the setting post. So the base has this ring inside of it that's gonna be facing up. So set that down. Then we're going to take our grommet post. And let's see if I can get this in focus. Yep, you can see here. That's the larger piece. This is the post. So we're going to set the curved lip down into the setter. Then we're gonna take our bag and whatever side is the right side of your pocket, so you have one that you think the top stitching looks nicer on, you're gonna put that face down because this grommet post is going to be on the front. So I like this side better, so I'm gonna put it facing down. And you're just gonna put the hole over the post. Now we need the grommet washer. So here we have the grommet washer. It has two sides, one has a concave curve and one has a convex curve. So this is the convex curve and the concave curve. You're going to put it so that the concave curve is facing up. And the reason for that is when we hit it with the setting tool and hammer, the post of the grommet is going to fold over and go into this little setting section. So place that over. Then we're gonna take our post, put that on top, and we're gonna to hit it with our hammer a few times. So this is going to be loud, and the camera will shake, so I apologize, but here we go. So you can 
Take your grommet and double check that everything looks good. We've got one little piece of fuzz hanging out here that got trapped. So you just clip that away. And here you can see our grommet is set. This is one I did previously. The front and then on the back, looks like that. So you're gonna repeat that for the other two. I do recommend doing a practice one if you haven't done this before. Um, I'm sure you have scrap fabric and if you ordered one of our kits, if you ordered one of our kits, we included two extra grommets for you. So test that out and then set those in. Now that our grommets are installed, it's time to attach the pocket to the body of the bag. So to do that, lay out the body of your bag. This is piece one with the wrong side facing up. And again, if you have two-sided fabric, it doesn't matter which side is facing up. If you're like me and you do, you are going to want to print on the outside. Pockets on the inside, so the wrong side is facing up. You're going to place your pocket and align it with your match points. I know it can be hard to see my match points, but they're here, 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 and here. Now to anchor the bag, instead of sewing along the outside, we're going to sew the pockets into place. Now, if you have your markings, then you know exactly where those are going to stitch. If you don't, maybe they've rubbed off or you just can't see them, I'll show you how to align your pocket to make sure that everything's in the right spot. All right, so say I can't see my pocket placement markings. All you have to do is take piece two and align it with the pocket. And you'll be able to align the grommet holes and then everything else will be centered. Now I'm just gonna weight that into place and then you can mark right onto your placement. Now do the other side as well. Okay, so we're going to be stitching the pocket lines. And if you are feeling like you're nervous or unable to stitch a line straight across here, you can just connect the two points with a chalk line. You want to use something that'll rub out. So Again, we don't recommend washing our bags, but this will rub out. And you can draw in these. You are just stitching right next to the edge of the bag though, so you don't necessarily need to. Just whatever you feel most comfortable with. Then we're gonna pin that in place. I like to just place a pin in the center and make sure things really don't move around. And then I'll just do two pins across the bottom. Now we need to do the same thing for the other side. All right, so again, I'll just draw a line across.
we're going to again stitch up the side. So I'm drawing a line from one marking to the other. And then we have these smaller pocket stitching lines. Align our match points with the ruler and draw that line. So again, I have one match point here and one match point here. So I'm just drawing that in. And one more, oops, lost my chalk. Now, once again, I'll put some pins in here just to secure the pocket in place while I stitch. And when we head over to the machine, I like to start with a larger pocket. I just start at one corner, stitch down, pivot across, pivot up. Then for the divided pocket, I start at one corner, I stitch down the edge, pivot over, pivot again up to the top. Then I'll sew these three separately. Okay, so here we are at the machine. And you'll notice I switched from my edge stitch foot to my regular, this is a quarter inch foot, because when we stitch this, we're gonna start here and then pivot over and sew across the bag. There's no edge here, so it's hard to use an edge stitching foot. The um, guide just naturally won't wanna pivot and turn over here. So, again, I start by aligning my needle and I am just going to back tack a little bit here because my pockets get a lot of use and I want them to be stable. So just stitch along the edge until you get to your pivot point. Stitch across the bottom. This is the lower edge of the large pocket. Pivot again. up to the top and again I back stitch to secure it. So this is a large pocket so we don't need to stitch anything in between there. Now we're going to move on to the divided pocket. So we're going to start the same way, stitching around the outside first. Pivoting at the lower edge again. Stitching across the bottom. And pivoting up the other side. Back 
stack at the top and then clip my threads. Now we need to sew in these smaller divided pockets for your pens, needles, tools, all of that. So to start, I sink my needle right at the point where I want to start stitching. And I do back tack a few stitches just because I want to make sure these little divided pockets are secure. Stitch up to the top, back tack, clip my threads, and then repeat for the second pocket. I don't sew through the body of the bag, getting stuck underneath there. Clip your threads and the final dividing line. Clip any remaining threads. So here you can see our pocket is stitched in. And if you remember in the first lesson, I mentioned that you want to use a thread that looks good on the front and back of the stitch of the fabric, because here we have the outside of the bag. And as you can see, you can see the stitching lines for the pocket. So you want to make sure you have a good even tension for that. So that is it for today's lesson. Our pocket is assembled and attached. And in our next lesson, we'll be assembling the bag body. So you'll really get to start to see your bag come into life. If you have any questions between now and then, let me know in the comments below and get your bag pocket ready and attached. And I'll see you back here next time.